Welcome to the Ink Stitch Beginner Tutorial Series. In this part we are going to have a closer look which stitch types Ink Stitch is able to perform. We will not explain the stitch types in general, but only how to create them in Ink Stitch. Ink Stitch stitch types can be roughly divided into three sections, stroke, satin, and fill. Here is a complete list so you can quickly navigate to the stitch type you are interested in. This is the tutorial about satin columns. Satin stitch is mostly used for borders, letters, or small fill areas. Ink stitch will draw zigzags back and forth between two lines while you can vary the thickness of the column as you like. There are various methods to create satin columns. We will first show you the very basic and manual way before we simplify the process with the help from satin tools. So let's create two paths. And combine them with path, combine, or control K. Next, we open Params dialog and switch to the Satin Column tab where we enable Custom Satin Column. In our example, the simulator shows not what we expected. This is what you get when path directions aren't the same on both sides of the rails. Activate the Node tool by pressing N and select your Satin Column. If you follow our customized tutorial, you will see red sparks indicating the path direction. Select one node of one path and run path reverse or use your custom shortcut key to reverse the path. If you run params again, you will now see the correct satin column being animated. You can influence the angle with the help of the nodes. But keep in mind that on both rails we will need the same amount of nodes. Otherwise you will receive an error message like this. This is easy to achieve in a simple path like this. But what if you have a more complex shape and you really don't feel like counting nodes all day? Well, InkStitch has a solution for this, the rung method. With the satin column selected, activate the pencil tool by pressing P. Hold shift while you draw the rung. Rungs have to cross both rails once. These rungs will give Ink Stitch all the information about the stitch angle and no counting of nodes is needed. If you want the satin column to be a line of equal width, there is a very fast method to create a satin column. Create a path. Make sure it is not a closed path, but has a start and an end. Set the stroke width to whatever you like your satin column to be. Then run Extensions, Ink Stitch, English, Satin Tools, Convert Line to Satin Column. And that's it. Sometimes you will need to break up your path into pieces. This can be done manually, but if you want to keep your settings, you can use a specific satin tool, Cut Satin Column. To break up your column manually, select two nodes, one on each rail, and click on Break Path at Selected Node. Now you have to separate the paths by hitting Ctrl Shift K and recombine your subpaths with Ctrl K.
Using the Satin tool will require two steps. First, select your Satin column and run Extensions, Inkstitch, English, Commands, Attach Commands to selected objects, and enable Satin Cut Point before you click on Apply. Move the symbol to the exact point where you want the Satin column to split up. It will split where the connector touches the rail. Then run Extensions, Ink Stitch, English, Satin, Tools, Cut Satin Column. Please note that in params you already need the Satin Column to be enabled for this to work. Flip Satin Column Reels is a tool to help you plan your stitch path precisely. A satin column which originally starts on the left rail and ends on the right will start on the right rail and end on the left. This might shorten connections between previous and next stitch object. Select the satin column and run Extensions Ink Stitch. English, Satin Tools, Flip Satin Columns. Planning the order and connections of stitch objects can be very time consuming. Therefore, Ink Stitch comes with a tool that will take away a lot of this work. Auto Root Satin Columns will order your satin columns in a logical stitching order. It will create underpathing and jump stitches as necessary. Single satin columns might also be split up to avoid jump stitches. Resulting satins will retain all of the parameters you had set on the original satins. Select columns with all the parameters set, underlay, etc. Run Extensions, Ink Stitch, English, Satin Tools, Auto Root Satin Columns. Enable Desired Options and click Apply. You can even define a start and an end point for your ordered satin columns by attaching auto root satin stitch starting and ending position commands. If this went too fast for you, you might be interested into the visual commands tutorial. Let's have a closer look into the params dialog and what it offers for satin columns. Custom satin column has to be enabled. Satin stitches pull the fabric together, resulting in a column narrower than you draw in Inkscape. With the pull compensation setting, you can expand the satin column. You'll have to experiment how much compensation you need for your combination of fabric, thread, and stabilizer. Zigzag spacing will define the density of your satin column. Well, now we talk much about the satin column itself, but a very important part is still missing which is the underlay. Ink Stitch supports three kinds of underlay. For Y columns or challenging fabrics, you can even use all three underlay types together.
The center walk underlay is a roll of running stitch down the center of the column and back. This may be all you need for thin satin columns. You can also use it as a base for more elaborate underlay. The contour underlay is a roll of running stitch up one side of the column and back down the other. The rolls are set in from the edge of the column by the amount you specify. For small or medium width satin, this may serve well enough by itself. The zigzag underlay is essentially a lower density satin stitch sewn to the end of the column and back to the start. The biggest purpose for e-stitch is the simple but strong cover stitch for applique items. Mainly for baby clothes as their skin tends to be more sensitive. E-stitch is created just as a satin column. But in the params dialog, enable the E stitch option and increase the zigzag spacing. Underlay is not needed for this stitch type. If the points are facing the wrong way, just use the flip satin column rails tool as described before. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got an overview about satin stitch types. You might also want to watch our videos about stroke type stitches and fill stitches.